Have a little one with a love for dinosaurs? Feel like smashing a couple of rocks or digging for your own piece of history? This is a wonderful spot for a family to come, with their, bring their kids, they're outdoors, and they have the joy of discovery of Earth's ancient past. Well, that great, great place is called Stone Rose, named for the fossil you can find there. It's a great place to take the kids, and the best part is you can take the souvenirs home with you. Our hot camera has the story you'll only see on KXLY4 News. Oh, was that something there? Only one way to find out. Oh, that, was, that broke easy. No kidding. When I come here, I get really excited. Why? When you come here, you go look for fossils, and looking for fossils is fun. That's fair. Welcome to Republic where the locals will argue they've got one of the best fossil digs in the country. <gasps> whoa, oh, whoa, it was starting. Chances are you might hear it before you see it. Behind me is uh, the record of a fossil lake that's almost 50 million years old. At this time uh, in the Earth's history, there were alligators above the Arctic Circle. There were palm trees growing above the Arctic Circle. The Earth was extremely warm. This is a story about back then. The fossils found here tell a story. And also now. Look, I found a fossil! <laughs> that's Piper, a fossil hound in the making. As a first grader here with her teachers and a few classmates. You could probably see if there's something right there. There are worse places to spend the afternoon. Did you see that? Can we get some teacher appreciation here, though? I doubt fossil holding was in the job description when these two signed on. <gasps> but never fear. Oh, I didn't hit them. I was very, very careful. Can you turn it this way? Back to the science with paleobotanist and now Stone Rose board member Michael Sternberg. We're looking for rock that has a lot of layers in it. That's how fossils work. Layers of mud in that distant lake. And they were just laid down and laid down and laid down. And so if a leaf landed there and got covered up, it was uh, preserved. Here's the fun part, though. Well, we have lots of rock here for you to try your hand at. And where it can get addicting. If we happen to split along the layer that has uh, the fossil in it, then bonus, we've got a wonderful find. Great. It's another rock with a pretty pattern, you might think. Oh, it's opened up just like pages in a book. And there is a beautiful leaf. But take a step back and think about it. When you sit here and, and slowly chip and, and open up a uh, fossil rock and there's a leaf there, you're the first one to see it since it fell in the lake 50 million years ago. And that's a oh my gosh moment. And that's pretty exciting. Just ask these guys. I found this. You found that one? Yeah. Cool. After a few hours of digging, they've got a box full. I think it's cool that I found a branch. Time for identification. This piece has two alder leaves on it. That one there, and then this one, which is on a different layer. In fact, this spot has been extraordinarily prolific. And we have over 60 families of insects identified, over 350 species of plants. And guess what? You find it, you get to keep it, assuming it's not scientifically unique. But even then, if you find something extraordinary, you may just get a new species named after you. That's a Stone Rose tradition. <laughs> Looks like dust that dried up 100 years ago. But any find is a cool find. It's history in your hands, the story of that distant past, and not a bad decoration either. Well, I'm going to put it up in my windowsill. And after a day like this... I'm not going to sleep. Why not? <laughs> because I'm excited. I'm Hawk Hammer, KXLY4 News.